Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones is in a little bit of trouble uh, after, of course, posting a couple of videos claiming that the survivors of Parkland shooting are nothing more than uh, crisis actors. Specifically, he's been going after David Hogg. Now, David Hogg uh, is a survivor of the shooting. He's also uh, the son of a former FBI agent. Cute conspiracy theories. Here comes Alex Jones. Oh, working with the FBI, working with the media to do these crises, to be a crisis actor, and all to take your guns. In fact, uh, he's done several, at least two videos on this, uh, uh, and... He's been called out for it. So he's gotten into a little bit of a trouble. Uh, as I said, he now has two copyright strikes. If he gets another, uh, a third strike, then his channel could be banned. Now, I know a lot of people are like, yeah, d ban his channel. But wait, I'm going to have a little bit of a controversial opinion on this uh, that you may or may not agree with. Um, but before I get into what I actually think about this, uh, as far as the story goes, I do want to have a little bit of fun with it uh, before I get super dour and super serious. Uh, on Twitter, earlier, uh, he invited David Hogg onto a show, Alex Jones. And David Hogg actually agreed. Now, first of all, let me, let me get the uh, Twitter thread here, uh, Twitter thread. Alex Jones said, I would love to have you on, today's, uh, on today to clear up some of the disinformation that has been put out about my statements concerning the tragedy. I noticed you're calling me a shit journalist and snake oil salesman when I've never called you any disparaging names, except when you called him a crisis actor, basically a fake and a fraud. But okay, putting that aside, uh, he said, I also, I've never been sued by survivors of any school shooting. Please stop the defamation. My YouTube channel with 2 plus billion views has now been frozen after CNN lobbied it to be closed in your name. Again, that's not true at all. CNN didn't lobby anybody. It's crazy though, right? Oh, no, CNN is trying to shut down my channel. What are you doing? He's working with CNN. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not working with CNN. He's pushing back against your bullshit. Um, he said, again, Mr. Hogg, in your name, CNN has shut down my speech on YouTube. It is critical that you come out and support the First Amendment and not let me use you to end free speech. All right, so why, why is it the conservatives always have the wrong idea about free speech? They think that, oh, no, on Twitter, free speech. No, you don't. Look, you're the same people that argue for privatization of everything, right? Well, guess what? When it comes to private corporations and using their platforms, you actually don't have free speech. Now, that sucks, and... I wish it were not the case, but that's simply how it is. That's not how I feel about it. That's how it is. We actually don't have free speech on these different platforms. So, look, if, if they want to kick people off YouTube, they have the right to do that. Now, I am strongly against that. So here's what I'm going to go and sort of defend Alex Jones. Now, I, again, I'm not defending any of the things that he says. What he says are terrible, terrible things. He spreads conspiracy theories and all that. But you know what? I don't think he should be shut down. I don't think you should get copyright strikes. Because it's not a copyright strike, but you know what I mean. Strikes on things like, even if it's conspiracy stuff. Well, if you're going to shut down every conspiracy, there goes every conspiracy on, like, there, there goes every conservative channel, just about. And also, there goes some uh, left-leaning channels. Now, let me give you an example here. Okay, so you guys are probably aware of the David Pakman show. David Pakman does really good commentary. He breaks things down. He's a pretty good YouTuber, right? He got a strike. Why? Right-wing trolls flagged him. They saw one of his videos pushing back against the conspiracy theories, uh, you know, spread by people like Alex Jones on the right wing. And so he put out a video debunking that. All these right-wing trolls came and flagged him and now he has a strike on his channel. Two more, and David Pakman is banned. How far are we going to go? We're going to ban Alex Jones, then we're going to ban David Pakman, we're going to ban Jimmy Dore. Who's next? No, I don't like this at all. I'm, I'm not comfortable with banning people's channels. Yes, I know this is not a free speech issue. But at the same time, you are taking people like... 
you are going after them for their opinion on your platform. And that is very, very uncomfortable for me. Now, again, if it, if it goes to making direct threats to people, if there are videos making uh, direct threats and, and, and in maybe inciting people to violence, then okay, like, we'll think about that, right? But, again, this is a really, really hard line for me to draw because at the same time, like, you don't want people to get shut down because there are so many ways for you to be able to misuse this, especially using the idea of conspiracy theories. Well, JFK, the shooting of JFK, that's, that's a conspiracy theory, right? Well, some conspiracy theories end up being true. Not every uh, conspiracy theory is off the wall lunatic or lunacy. Some obviously are. 80% man, 80% gorilla, 80% pig. I mean, come on. But he shouldn't get banned for it. And look, I, I'm, I'm somebody who, look, I know the Parkland shooters, they're not crisis actors. It's not false flags. It's ridiculous. And I know that the Parkland uh, survivors have gotten a lot of shit from a lot of different people. A lot of harassment and, and terrible uh, messages and death threats. And it, look, part of that is thanks to the videos from Alex Jones and his crazy followers. At the same time, I don't think that that should allow a, a platform to shut someone down for what their viewers are, are doing. So again, this is... This is, I guess this is an issue that hits home with me, right? Because again, I'm a YouTuber. I derive, I make my living on YouTube. So if you give them this power to basically shut people down for opinions you might not disagree with and some theories, well, who's to say what's a conspiracy theory? You could talk about wealthy people getting together to conspire to go and cut taxes on themselves. Oh, it's a conspiracy theory. Or... Oh, the DNC got together uh, with the media and conspired to rig the nomination for Bernie Sanders. Or, or I'm sorry, against Bernie Sanders for Hillary Clinton. Uh, conspiracy theory. Shut him down. Shut him down. Not, I'm not comfortable with this at all. So as funny as it is to watch Alex Jones grovel for his channel, at the same time, I think this is, sets a dangerous precedent. And again, David Pakman's already been hit for doing the complete opposite of Alex Jones. So I'm very, very worried about what's going to happen in the future for people with different opinions that aren't necessarily mainstream. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.